It brings new meaning to the word play as an interactive way to bridge the communication gap between local police and the communities they serve. WNTT's Nicole Newman takes us inside the fourth annual game play. With a game controller in hand, police and local youth are forming relationships they might not otherwise have a chance to. I came here to play the games. With who? With the police. This is the fourth annual gameplay event Thursday at Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church in Greenville. The acronym Play Police Life and Youth. It's an outreach program designed to allow police and youth to fellowship in gaming. It's the creation of Kenneth Dale who works at a local GameStop. I noticed a lot of officers coming in and shopping. I also noticed a lot of local community kids coming and shopping. They don't really realize that at the end of the day, we go home and we do the same thing. A lot of us play games. This event is known to draw hundreds every year. In 2018, Gameplay received the Best Ironed Humanitarian Award from the Human Relations Council in Greenville. It's given to a community program that advances human rights, human dignity, and equality for all people. It's positive events like this that local law enforcement are happy to take part in. I think it's very important that we empower our youth, that law enforcement are their friends. We're here to help them. Come here to make the, let the kids know that we are human too and we like to have fun. We like to do the same things they like to do. That includes letting loose and dancing no matter who's watching. In Greenville, Nicole Newman, 9 on your side.